Hello everyone, my name is Sue Bickford and I'm the CEO of New England UAV. New England UAV is a drone education company that develops curricula not only for STEM, but for college level and workforce development programs as well. I got involved with drone technology because my background is in natural resource management and GIS mapping. And I work hard to bring all three of these areas together when teaching about drones. But today I'd like to introduce you to the Thousand Drones for Thousand Girls project. Last winter, I was amazed at all the activities I had lined up for the new year, working with elementary and high schools on their drone programs, presenting at conferences, developing college courses. Then came March and then, well, the whole rest of spring and summer and now we're into fall. And naturally, I was frustrated with my work grinding to a halt. But what frustrated me even more was all the lost opportunities for kids to learn about drones, especially girls. One day, I came back from walking the dog, and I said to my husband, I need a thousand drones. And I explained my idea of getting drones to girls directly, as it looked like they weren't going to be getting the opportunity anytime soon through their schools. And that's how the Thousand Drones for Thousand Girls idea was formed. I immediately called Sharon Rossmark of Women in Drones to see if the idea was absolutely ludicrous, but she was absolutely thrilled. And so was Brenda Wilson from Die Hard RC. And we immediately started coming up with a framework to see how we could move the project on amid the chaos that engulfs us this year. At the same time, I was learning about the UN Sustainable Development Goals, or SDGs. What a powerful vision they came up with. Simple to understand and specific enough to work with. Quality education, gender equality, decent work, and economic growth. All the things that the Thousand Drones for a Thousand Girls was working to help young women achieve. But along with the rest of the world, all the hard work that the UN SDG program had made in the past few years has also come to a grinding halt. The health crisis was horrible enough, but the effects of the pandemic on income and education were huge as well. Even with some schools returning to a new version of normal, the educational system is so stressed that just holding down the fort is hard enough without thinking about adding new STEM programs. So the plans for a thousand drones for a thousand girls project is needed more urgently than ever. The actual plan is to make drone educational kits available to middle school girls along with online learning modules and adjustments will be made for students who have limited access to the internet. Beyond the modules and in partnership with both Women in Drones and Die Hard RC, the girls will be helped in multiple ways by women mentor in the drone technology industry. Naturally, it all hinges on the use of educational drones that would be sent to these girls to keep. Safety is always a top concern, and since the girls will probably be working in limited indoor space, Altitude, hole, and prop guards are a must, as well as personal protective equipment. Also, to keep the logistics of the project and the cost of the drones to a minimum, the drones would communicate with the controller without the need for a phone or tablet. We've been diligently working to find funds for the project. At first, we thought we could fund the entire project all at once, but we came to realize that working towards funding 200 girls over five years still achieves the goal. And why stop at 1,000? When I first came up with the number, it seemed enormous in one aspect, like where was I going to get 1,000 drones? But it also seems a drop in the bucket of what actually is needed to get girls interested in STEM careers. 
As summer moved on towards fall, I was feeling frustrated at how long everything was taking to get moving. Funding opportunities were in disarray. Contacts were either not working or working from home. People were busy just trying to survive the day. So I decided to take the advice about thinking globally and acting locally. In July, I started the Thousand Girls Drone Club right here in my neighborhood, and I got four ecstatic girls to come. We practiced social distancing and sanitary procedures. Each girl got their own package that contained a face mask, a workbook, a drone pilot log, their own pens and scissors, and each girl works with an individually assigned drone. We covered safety, the four forces of flight, and basic drone flight skills. Plans are now being developed to meet once a month, with each month covering a different drone topic. This month, I will be learning to code using the Tinker app and the training drones. Other topics will include investigating how drones are being used in science, understanding how drones are built, and how to develop a drone mission. This project has been a shining beacon in a sea of chaos for our three organizations this year. It's given us a direction and a purpose in a year full of unknowns. And it's led us to amazing partnership worldwide, such as this one with We Robotics. If a thousand people found a way to get one girl a drone and some training, and those girls taught one friend, imagine the possibilities. Stay safe always, start with what you have, and think outside the box. Thanks for this opportunity to talk about the Thousand Drones for Thousand Girls project, and please feel free to contact me with any questions or ideas. Thank you again, and stay well.